Greetings, my friends. Well, I was going to ease off on videos, and I had been for a while, but so much is happening right now. I just follow the Lord and put out things as I need to put them out. And this whole hurricane thing is just going crazy. Irma, as I warned you, is a bad news. She went over and just laid Antigua to waste. About 95% of that country is just ruined for good until it took years and years and years to even begin to repair. She's headed for Puerto Rico, Bahamas, and probably Florida, maybe elsewhere in the U.S. There have never, ever, ever been four hurricanes together like this within a week in history. One other time there were four hurricanes, but only one of the hurricanes had any kind of juice. The other three just you know, lottie dot out in the middle of the ocean. Now we've had Harvey and we have got Irma that are just tearing things to pieces. This is the first ever. And we've got Jose and Katia in the background as well. And I went over some stuff before, but just to give you a little bit of uh, information again, the name Katia means pure. The name Irma means noble. The name Jose means may God give increase. The name Harvey is Battle and Blazing, just some of the names. So you put those names together, God is pure and noble. He is giving an increase in judgment on, on this wicked earth and battle blazing everywhere. Look at, look at the west western part of the U.S. right now, where wildfires are just tearing things up. And it's not just the U.S., it's the entire world. These hurricanes are, are affecting all throughout the Caribbean. The whole world is experiencing all kinds of earthquakes, including the U.S., Tornadoes, hurricanes, typhoons, volcanoes are erupting. You've got all kinds of death and destruction, plague, pestilence, disease, wars and rumors of wars. You've got evil, wickedness, hatred. The things that God said would be happening in the world in the last days are happening right now. My friends, God's judgment is upon us now. God is judging us, and he's just getting started. He is tired of the world slapping him in the face. He's, he, he created everything. God could just think it. He doesn't even have to do anything. He can think a thought and wipe out the entire universe. He destroyed mankind except for Noah and his family in the Great Flood. He destroyed Sodom and Gomorrah except for Lot and his family. God has patience like no one can possibly imagine. His patience runs out though. And I believe his patience has ran out with the earth right now. He's getting ready to focus only on Israel in the seven-year tribulation and great tribulation, which is a time where he deals with Israel <coughs> as a nation. The Bible predicted it, and the Bible's always correct. We've had 2,000 years plus for the Gentiles, the non-Jews, to get right with the Lord and to do right by God. And what has the world done? The world's continually just turned us back on God and just turned evil and wicked and filthy beyond anyone's wildest imagination. I'm telling you right now, that God's judgment is just beginning. And again, look at all this stuff happening right now. September has potential to be one of the biggest prophetic months ever. 2017, one of the biggest prophetic years ever already. 2018, if we get that far, is going to be a huge one. Because you look at the Bible, and the Bible says that those who were alive when Israel became a nation again in 1947, 1948, that generation will not die without seeing Christ return in the imminent rapture. And the, the mean generation in the Bible, there's, a, there's several generations, but the mean generation is 70 years. And the Bible also says 80 years if you have, if you have the strength to endure. 10 years before Israel became a nation is, is that the whole 10 years she was persecuted in the Holocaust where millions and millions die. They try to wipe out her entire race. Those who have strength to endure, they start at the 70 year when she became a nation again in 47, 48. So add a 70 to, to, to 47, 48, you get 2017, 2018. We are right now on the threshold of eternity, my friends. We are in the last of the last of the last days. And if you aren't ready to go, you're about to be left behind for seven pure years of hell. And it's going to happen in the twinkling of an eye. Blink your eyes. That's how fast it'll be. Jesus Christ is going to come and boom, he's gone. The bride of Christ is gone. And the world's going to rejoice when people like me are gone because they hate my guts. I give them nothing but love. I'm one of the few that preach the truth 24-7, 365, that only try to lead people to Jesus Christ. I have no agenda. Don't make a penny on this channel. Don't monetize videos. Don't, don't ask for or even accept donations. Many have tried to generously give me money. Can't take it. Jesus Christ never took it. I won't either.
And all I'm doing is presenting the free gospel that's free. He paid the cost. It's free for us to be able to present. And very few will do that anymore. And I'm not afraid to bring you the truth. I'm not afraid to tell you what's about to happen. But soon, after I'm gone, and, the, and those the few true Christians are gone, you're not going to care. But what you will care is this. You'll care that your babies and little ones disappear, even cl including out of your womb. You'll care that your graves of your, of your loved ones are burst open and they're gone. Their bones and, and whatever else is gone. You'll be freaking out to the max. You will want answers. And after when this, when this all happens, if you're a rider in a car or a bus or a train or whatever and the driver's gone, you'll probably die right there. There may be massive earthquakes, volcanoes, hurricanes, tsunamis, anything happening. Raping, pillaging, murdering, marauding, looting. It's going to be hellish, beyond your wildest nightmare. And that's just nothing compared to what's on, on the way after that. But if you died during the aftermath, you weren't ready to go to heaven to begin with, and you go to hell in the lake of fire forever. But if you survive that part, a man will come forward at that time, I believe, the future Antichrist, and tell you, hey, the aliens, I, I'm positive from, from what's going on. I'm as, I'm as sure as I can be in my own heart. Bible doesn't say, but I believe that I discovered this and proven it in endless videos. Aliens will be the excuse. Aliens took us. And you'll believe it lock, stock, and barrel if you're left behind. Because for all intents and purposes, the Holy Spirit, the, the one who restrains evil, will be gone. And it's a tiny remnant because I'm the present. And you'll believe it. You'll take. You, you'll just. You'll, you'll just believe it. And that will placate you. Then you'll be offered a mark. It'll be in your hand or forehead. They'll say that you can't buy or sell without it. Refuse it. Get your head chopped off. But if you if you refuse it and you're a Christian, you spend forever in heaven as soon as you die. Take it. It's like marrying Satan. You spend forever in hell in the lake of fire. Forever. 24 hours a day. 7 days a week. 30 day, thirty four weeks a month. 12 months a year. Forever. Eternity. It never stops. There's no purgatory like the Catholics teach. No get out of hell free card. No reincarnation. No, no You spend forever suffering. At the worst possible suffering you could possibly imagine in your entire life. And during this time the tribulation... Billions with a B will die. About two-thirds of all humans will die the most grotesque, awful, terrible, horrific deaths imaginable. God said if he didn't intervene, no flesh would remain alive. Billions will die from an army slaughtering you. Billions will die from an asteroid or heavenly body hitting the earth. Billions will die from a huge plague and pestilence and disease that will make the, the bubonic plague seem like a cold sniffle. It will be horrendous, my friends. There will be, just be endless terrible things happening. God's going to judge this world like never before. And Satan and the Antichrist and the false prophet, the unholy trinity, will reign hell on earth during that time as well. God will, will judge righteously. They'll judge hellishly. It's going to be horrendous. And there's absolutely no reason at all to have to go through all of that. God's giving us warning signs in the world right now and telling us, look at Matthew 24, look at the whole Bible. Everything that God says is going to, be going to happen with the imminent rapture is happening right now. And I know we're in the last seconds of the last seconds of the last seconds of eternity, my friends, on God's time clock. If you've never been saved or you're a backslider, Pray the prayer, do the six steps I have in the box below my video. No one's guaranteed the next day, hour, minute, or second of your life. If you'd like prayer, contact me. I pray for you every day without fail. True Christians, your job is to witness and pray for the lost daily. If you're not doing it, do it now. If you are, great. And look up. Our different draw with nine. We fly soon. But God bless you all. And my friends, it's all lining up. Watch all the videos I've done in the last month. I'm covering everything that God's warning us about. Watch them and learn and see what's going on and understand what's happening. Because time is truly short. Again. Make sure you share this video. If you need prayer, contact me. May God bless you all. And I will always pray for you, my friends. But I want you to get ready. This is no joke. It's time to get serious and real. Bye.